Okay, I know some of you have been waiting a long time for an ActionScript 3 version of a, a, a kind of an old tutorial I did back in the ActionScript 2 days, which is uh, called the uh, Classic Gaming. It was just a side-scrolling tutorial. But uh, yes, now it's about time to get a bit fancier with it um, and use ActionScript 3, and I'll show you guys real fast, um, or as fast as I can, um, what goes on in this thing. So I'm the little more purple ninja here, and... Uh, you know, if I uh, hold down the up key, I can jump. Left and right makes me run, obviously. And then if I uh, hold down the down key, I can slice up uh, other ninjas over here. And of course, if they collide with me, they'll just start attacking me like so. And I've got uh, a health meter up this way. And uh, they kind of come down at random uh, speeds, so you'll, you might notice that some of them um, move a bit faster. And uh, the fun thing here is it's um, incredibly easy uh, to make up plenty of different boards here because this is just... Uh, pretty much it's all one piece of vector artwork here where I just um, you know just made the angles in here curves and then I just kind of went through and I just deselected uh, some of the artwork and just hit delete and um, so that's where you're getting the gaps in there um, and uh, then it's uh, just masking this um, same kind of checkered pattern here to give it kind of more of an old 8-bit look and if there is an objective to the game it's uh, to I guess for every level we'll just keep getting out to the flag over here so you can just run out onto this guy and then once you do it'll reset you back over here and uh, what else is there to know well uh, let's see let me try to do one or two things let's see if I can get out oops well I want to try to get out into that circle there but um, it's a it's I think it's a good uh, good little engine I guess for for making plenty of uh, different games and we will of course show you guys how to uh, Oh, add all sorts of different things to it, different types of enemies. Uh, we are going to be doing some object-oriented programming here. So uh, we've got uh, a class for our enemy, a class for our player, um, a class that um, extends both of these guys, that the, or our boundary objects here. So basically any number of different enemies you want to create, things like that, they're all going to be um, extended from this. And um, so, yeah, lots of, uh, I guess reusable code and th trying to do things um, as <laughs> least hacky as possible, which is not always what I'm known for. But uh, we'll go over that. And you know, real quick before we get started, I just want to show you guys how quickly you can um, throw in some different artwork. So this is actually a lot of artwork from uh, the, the ActionScript 2 version of this um, tutorial that I sold many years ago. And I will just copy this in. And let me go back over here to our FLA file. And what I'm going to do is double click inside of um, what we have here. And if you did want to kind of examine this a little bit further, here's the, um, this is the mask that's just making up the entire level. And then that's obviously masking this thing. But what we'll do is step back one, and I'm going to delete out this entire guy right here. I'm, um, well, it's hard to see it, but this flag is still off to the side here. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, paste in artwork that we that I copied so here it is and what I don't want to do is here we go let me get back down the bottom of the board okay so uh, there's no code on any of these um, objects in here it is just vector artwork so um, let's publish it out again and here we go now we've got our guy just in a whole new set of different artwork and uh, yeah, again, no coding needed. Just draw something new in there and it'll fall off the edge, obviously. Go fight these ninja guys. Okay, so that is uh, what we're going to be working on. And let me undo this so I get back to the original boundary. And I sure hope you follow along with this lesson because it's going to be good. When, um, what I'm probably going to do is, uh, or definitely do, I'll divide this up into um, two separate parts. Uh, one, we're going to basically, we're going to make the basic framework for it. And um, then from there, uh, what we'll have is um, a pretty decent game for uh, just uh, basically moving your, your, uh, your ninja around and uh, different controls for uh, the desktop or uh, using... An Android device that has an accelerometer. In that version of the game, you, you don't use any sort of keys for uh, moving left or right. You just slide, and then that's where this jump button comes in because there's no real up key. And then by the end of that lesson, we probably the first part, we will, I don't think we're going to have any enemies. So our second part will deal more with um, in incorporating those guys and stuff like that. So that's where we're headed.